What's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular read-throughs of all times. I am the big cliche. I am big Papa Pump. Without the pump, I am the rock. That is never hard. King Kong got a lot on me. I am T. B. R. Terabyte Reacts. I would just like to say you're welcome. Welcome back, guys, to another Hajime no Ippo read through. We're going to be starting off at chapter 621 today. Um, I am going to start limit myself when I'm doing this manga. I tend to overdo things sometimes and then complain about it. It's what I do. It's part of me that I don't like sometimes, but it is what it is. Um, so going forward, I'm going to try not to do that many chapters again. Last time I went overboard and I got frustrated and I should have stopped. I should have stopped because um, ended up with me saying some stuff. Um, now going back and taking a look at you know what I'm saying? My reaction and stuff like that. Like, it was in bad taste. It was very in bad taste. I really got frustrated with how long of it, 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 they took to end the fight chapter-wise. You know what I mean? So I got a little frustrated with it. Um, and I really do apologize for that. It was so obvious how frustrated I was. And it's because... It was taking a bit long to finish the fight. What I should have did was cut it off and then do and then did the rest another day. So I'm going to start limiting myself if because someone did tell me that the um, the fights in the manga go for a very long amount of chapters. Um, you know, I said a lot of things. So I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna go back, but I do apologize to you guys if you know I came off miserable, um, you know, and of a distaste and think I'm going to start hating the the manga because of this. That is very far from the truth. Um, I have never been this excited over reading something in my life. You know what I'm saying? This and also Berserk, like, um, you know. I read I read manga but um but these two mangas since I've read Naruto manga I've never been this excited over a manga between Berserk and an Ippo to read since I've read Naruto so it's it's refreshing it's refreshing so I'm not going to lose that excitement you know what I'm saying? Um, I really do believe that, you know, that fight was a bit long for chapter wise. You know what I'm saying? Um, other thing that I wanted to say was like, I would really love to see what I would really love to see is for some of these fights to be animated, man. I'm not going to lie. I really want to see some of these fights animated. I know there's bigger and there's longer fights in the manga that's going to take up more chapters and I'm going to be prepared for it this time around. I was not ready for this fight to go literally 30 chapters. Like I almost 30 chapters I read. I think I went from like 590 something. It's like 592 right back to like 620. So it was a lot of chapters. So um I know all of it was not the fight. All of it was in the fight, the preparations for the fight and all of that stuff still continued um, in those early chapters I read. But as I said, I do apologize for coming off. There's a bloody fly in here. Um, I didn't mean to come off. Well, I did mean to come off. I was really frustrated. So let me not apologize for that. But in any case, um, Hopefully you guys didn't stop watching because you know what I'm saying. I, I I I wasn't trying to disrespect the manga itself. It was just saying they could have condensed that a little bit. <laughs> I'm just saying. But but in any case, we're going to enjoy this. Um, I'm not used to that, and that's the problem. Like 
That's the problem. I'm not used to that in any manga that I've read before. I think this is the first one that an event has taken place that took up so many chapters. You get what I'm saying? And plus, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit easier to digest when you're when you're reading something on a weekly basis. It's a little bit easier to digest that way cuz it's not continuous. You get what I'm saying? Um so I think I think people who wait on this weekly it, it was a little bit easier for them if in you know what I'm saying if I really looking at it. So we're going to jump into this man to the West Japan Rookie King Itagaki, you know what I'm saying? Um, Manabu, you know, the man himself has finally won this fight by decision, split decision, and it's amazing, man. It was an amazing fight, nonetheless. No matter how frustrated I got, it was an amazing fight, as I've stated before. It was an amazing fight. So good to see Itagaki step up like that and to channel his inner ippo that was very nice to see so we're gonna jump into these um into these pages these chapters okay we're gonna be starting out at 621 taking um 30 minute breaks okay not not breaking for 30 minutes but after 30 minutes we cut it off and start a different part because they process faster than okay so here we go this year's eastern japan rookie king mvp is itagaki manabu before the winners depart to take aim at the All Japan Rookie Championships, let's give them one last round of applause, folks. So he won MVP? Did he get MVP? I want to know. Did he? Yes, I guess he did. Okay. So that's what the first thing I wrote said. So, okay. So he won MVP, so that's good. These will be the official commemoration photos, so please strike a pose for them. It's a crying shame the guy in the middle is missing. Itagaki Kun. I don't know. Oh, somebody's calling him. He's going to be jealous when he sees the pictures later. He'd be right at home in the middle of all of this. I don't think he'll be jealous, says Ippo. Manabu Kun wasn't after a trophy or status in this fight. Today's victory is something that holds much more value for him than those things. <gasps> Which is very true. I mean, him going up against Imai. You know, man, it was a very big deal. And then beating him, I, very big deal for him. First time he beat him. So he's there in memory. So that's good. And Ippo says, congratulations, Manabukun. And he's standing there looking at the ring. Okay. Hmm. Wow. I feel really worn out after all that. It was one thrill and tight spot after another. That must have been hard work. And Ippo, <laughs> Ippo is riled up. <laughs> so he says, so the boss says, what's wrong, kid? Oh, I was just thinking about how high level it was. It wasn't the kind of match you'd expect from people who are still called rookies. They were lively, all right. And now, those people are going to be coming after your belt. So you'd better prepare yourself so they don't trip you up. He's like, that's right. Yeah, he'll be ranked 10th if he takes all Japan. I really hope that Itagaki-kun can pull it off. Is the West Japan Rookie King strong? He said, he ain't nothing special. Sendo in the house. Let's go. <laughs> hmm, he's like, Sendo side is like, good evening there. <laughs> what brings you to Tokyo? Just checking out the competition. He's like, the competition? I told him that I didn't give a shit. But this wuss wouldn't listen and dragged me along anyhow. <laughs> this wuss. He's like, Hoshi Hiroyuki is the name. I won the West Japan Rookie Kings a few days ago. A few days ago. 
Oh, really? So he's Rookie King, so he's ranked 10th. Okay, so he's ranked 10th right now. So he's Ippo's next opponent. It like, doesn't look like Itagaki is here with you. What a shame. I would have liked to introduce myself. And it's like, you're with Sendokan. So that means you go to the Nanawa Boxing Club, right? It's like, yep, he's my Kohai. So take it easy on him, would you? And they're like, Sendo sans Kohai. So he's the one that's been training. He's training. Um, Sendo is training him. Oh, or Sendo is men mentoring him, I should say. So you can see his muscles bulging even from underneath his clothes. And he's tall for a featherweight, too. A power fighter, no doubt about it. Sendo is saying, introductions are made, so let's go. This dude is staring down Ippo. Boy, you better get your, your swole ass <laughs> from out of here before you get dropped by the real dude. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like can I help you? <laughs> it's like, it's like Takashi-san, are you going to fight against Makanauchi-san again? And he's like, but please don't say things like that. It'll only complicate things. Ascendo is like, fuck yeah. <laughs> like, see? <laughs> so he's like, but no matter how shameless that may seem, I can't go losing to the same guy three times. So it won't be till I get even stronger, and I'm sure I'll win. And he was like, Phew. he didn't say he wanted to go right now. In that case... Would it be okay if I challenged them ahead of you? And Ippo is like, what? <laughs> it's like, I joined the Nanawa Boxing Club because I idolized Takashi-san. And the guy who beat Takashi-san twice, Makanouchi Ippo, I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't interested. Dude interrupts, he said, now wait a second. You're not even ranked yet? You have no right to request a title match. And he's like, if I win the all Japan rookie kings, okay. So I I keep getting the, these this rookie king stuff mixed up because I was saying he ranked tenth, but he actually won a different do side of things. Because I think I think where Itagaki is from is from East Japan, and he's from the West. So he won the all the the East Japan. He won the West. And Itagaki won the East. So if he wins the All Japan Rookie King, he'll be ranked 10th. Okay. I'm trying to get the terminologies down and understanding the rankings. Um, so I'll have the rights soon enough. Okay. So he plans to beat Manabu. So it's like, you saw the match, didn't you? Manabu couldn't strong. It's like, then promise me, if I beat Itagaki, you let me fight you. Mr. Coach, Mr. Manager, you two don't forget about this either. No promises was made. They ain't even say nothing. <laughs> okay, so next chapter 622. The one who's waiting. When I beat down Itagaki, Man Itagaki Manabu, you'll accept my challenge? It's a promise then? Champion? Ippo looks at him. It's like the one who's waiting. Look at Ippo's back, man. This dude has back on back. <laughs> it's like, see ya. Don't be getting all cocky. <laughs> Sendo knocks him in the head. But he's too sweet of an opponent. Cut it out already. It's like, despite Sendo calling him a wuss, he seemed to be pretty confident in himself. And Ippo says, yeah, I'm a little worried for Manabukun. It's like, don't talk like it's his problem alone. In the end, the head that he's really after is yours. It's like I said, lively people like him will be coming up soon. Take it easy. Take it easy and you're going to get your head caught in a noose. To continue defending your title, you'll need caution and preparation. It's like, kid, like, what is it? I can be cautious and prepared, but how long do I have to keep on defending my title? Today, watching the Rookie King finals had a real impact on me. Becoming Rookie King was a landmark for me, 
and this has reminded me of what I'm chasing after. He's ready. He, he wants to go to the world stage, and I totally understand. It's like at the Eastern Japan Rookie King Finals, that was where, that's right, it was supposed to be here, but we weren't able to meet back then. And now he's waiting for me, waiting up above. Up above. He's talking about, um, Jesus Christ, I'm joining Blanc right now. <laughs> Miata. <laughs> he's talking about Miata. So he's like in the OPBF, right? Yes. He's like, Miata kun is waiting for me there. Please let me relinquish the Japanese title. He's like, but, but, but that's so sudden. It's not too sudden. This is something he's been getting at for the quite for quite some time now. We want to see this fight. We want to see this fight. So, Code says, "All right, kid. I'll inform the boxing commission of your intent to relinquish the title in a few days." And at the same time, we lay down a challenge to the OPPF champion. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's what we want to see. He clenches his fist and says, thank you very much. He said, how are you sure about this coach? He's like, coach. Um, it's about time, man. I'm ready for this. So he starts training. Hippo is training, doing some shadow boxing, of course. He's like, I'm ready to go. I can fight at any time. At any time. Okay, let's get it, man. Let's see what Miata's response to this is. It's like I can fight at any time. Some more shadow boxing, of course. It's like so Wampo, something's wrong with Wampo. It's like, oh sorry, Wampo. I'm just really worked up right now. Did he knock over the dog? <laughs> or he scared him, probably. Manabuka's physical must be finished by now. I should go visit him at the hospital. Even if it was right this minute, I'd be totally ready to fight. And the coach said I could. And the coach said I could. Don't rush it. It will be soon enough. Finally. Okay, so. Goes into the gym. So he's remembering everything. With me at a gun. So he's remembering all that stuff that happened between him and Miata. Like this, the Ko, the Kawahawa check. It's Kamagawa here. Okay, so somebody's asking questions. Somebody answered this. He's like, I'm sorry to trouble you so suddenly, but whether or not... Oh, he's on the phone. Okay. Like, whether or not we agree to this fight is really up to coach Miata. Let me put him on the line. Coach, are you really planning on letting those two fight? I've got no reason to refuse him. And this time, the kid's actually ready for the challenge. And this feeling is quite complicated. Coach Miata, you have a phone call. He's like, can it wait? He's like, well, it's from Kamagawa-san. Hmm. Bet everybody start paying attention now. It's like, I'll be right back. So don't slack off. Keep on moving. Yes, sir. So he goes, so Miata goes to the phone. It's like, I can probably guess what this call is about. Both our fighters feel the same way on this. And if we delay this any longer, they'll both lose their motivation. It's time. Damn right it's time. It's like, Ichiro has a title defense set up for two months from now in January. If he can clear that, our schedule is totally open. It's like, so in the spring then? Like, yeah, I haven't forgotten about the promise I made when we left the Kamigawa gym that we will definitely meet in the ring one day. Makarauchi and Ichiro's match, that is our promised place. It's the place where your humble student will surpass you. Like, cut the crap. <laughs> well then, <laughs> we'll see you in the spring. Like, hmm, okay, okay, getting juicy, We're getting juicy. All right, it's like the rival. Okay, I knew this day would come one day, but when it comes down to actually deciding it, it's like it's here. 
ha? Like, I'm burning up. Like, Yagi-chan. Burning up, Yagi-chan. Oh, the coach is excited, too. <laughs> Just like me. I'm excited. Let's get it. The happiest person right now might be the coach himself. Damn right. Of course, he's happy for Ippo. Like, pretty much everybody, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Um, Kimura, Aoki. Um, Takamura, Ippo, they're all like his sons. You know what I'm saying? He treats them as such, and they look up to him as a father figure. So, it's, I mean, Takamura and him is a lot closer because they've been together longer, but, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they're still like his sons, you know? So, he's happy for either of them when they're ready to fight, you know? So, he says, um, so this is Miata. Talking to his dad. He's like, thank you, dad. Walks away. Okay. Miata is ready, too. He said, I'm perfectly fine. They're exaggerating things, wrapping me up in bandages like this. So this is Itagaki, I'm guessing. So he's like, see? Just like this. <laughs> like, don't. Yes. Yeah. Sit your ass down. <laughs> he's like, you mustn't move about. If you don't rest quietly, you'll never heal up. It's like, I'm relieved that there's nothing wrong with my brain, but I injured my my Achilles tendon and broke my fist to this nigga. <gasps> Bruh. At least you do need your footing a lot. So, I mean, Achilles can be mended, but I don't know how. I mean, nowadays they can fix Achilles, but you, you'll kind of never be the same when you, you know what I'm saying? Um when you tear that muscle so we'll see how it goes damn that rock-headed moron he made me experience something painful your opponent must be the one in pain right now it's like i said it again congratulations on being the rookie king really why are we looking at this Okay, so sorry about that, guys. I don't know how long the feedback was going there, but it looked like it was going for a while. Cause I um when I when I'm when I'm um before I post it, I'll look at it. I don't know how long it was going now, but I do apologize because I didn't notice because I'm so into what I'm reading. Um, but anyways, thank you. I did it. I really did it. It's all thanks to you, Senpai. I didn't do anything at all. You worked hard and you won with your own power. Like, no, I don't know what would have happened without your advice. I don't even remember the ending that well, at any rate. More importantly than being MVP of the tournament, finally beating an opponent I couldn't beat. Finally beating in my Kiyosuke. Makes me happier than anything in the world. I'm happy too. And was envious. Envious? Senpai was... Of me? The East Japan Rookie Finals. That place had a special meaning for me. The one I was chasing was there. So I did my best and finally got there. But I wasn't able to meet him. Because, yes, because I remember that Miata didn't got to the finals. He didn't get to the finals. Um... He lost, I think, in the semis. I think he lost in the semis. Is that Miata could? Right. It couldn't be helped. Mashibasan was strong. And there was a little accident during the match. So. But when I saw yesterday's match. And saw you fighting with all your might against the one you'd been chasing. Yeah. I was envious. So that kind of sparked him to child to say he's ready for the Miata fight because you know what I mean so chasing him it's nothing quite as pretty as that I just wanted to settle childhood grudge that's all is that do you know how many times that guy had humiliated me even if I look like this I'm a proud man you know I won't be happy until I have slapped that annoying face around and knocked him down it sucks that I didn't win by KO, 
But, well, I feel a little bit better right now. And they both start laughing. <laughs> like, even though you're such good friends, but what did you just say? I can't, I've heard you right. Maybe you don't remember, but when the final gong went, you couldn't have stayed standing by yourself. But Imai Kun held you up. It looked like he'd save you like he was praising you. The two of you must have some sort of bond. That's what I thought. thought. And that's part of the reason why I was envious. It's like, yo, you gotta be kidding. Me? Friends with Imai? Ridiculous. Please take that back. <laughs> He's like, I agree. Take those words. <laughs> Imai showed up at the door. Why is he even here? Was he in the hospital too? I guess they were at the same hospital. He's like, I agree. Take those words back. It's like, Imai, okay. So he showed up. He's like, what did you come here for? And what are you looking so healthy for? <laughs> I'm hospitalized here. Go home. Go home. It's like, I didn't come so much to visit you as to give you these. And he's like, I don't want them. It's like, they're videos of the West Japan Rookie King. Oh, snap. So he brought him some some videos on um the dude that just came with Sendo. It's pretty cool. That's what I'm saying. They're like, they're, they're like, they're weird kind of, they're, they're friends, but they will never admit it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So there was this Southpaw guy called Maizono who was expected to win, but some guy knocked him around like he was a kid. You'd better watch these. He's talking about Hoshikun, right? Even if you say, even if you say you don't want them, I'll leave them here. In any case, I don't need them anymore. What's this? He's acting like a good guy and making the mood really weird. Talk big like you always do. This is uncomfortable. <laughs> you know? It's like, ah, uh, that's right. Kneeling down. Kneeling down. We had a bet, didn't we? If you lost to me, you promised to kneel down and apologize. <laughs> He's like, did you really promise such a thing? He's like, yes, he did. All right, do it. Do it right now. It's a man's promise. I have to do it. <laughs> it's like, Oni-chan, how are you? And so he, um, what's her name? I can't remember her name. Whatever. Manabu's sister, right? Nanako, right? Nanako. So she walks in and he's there. He's like, well, what's wrong? The mood's kind of weird. What's going on? Hey, watch this closely, Nanako. <laughs> Yo, Itagaki is milking this right now. He shouldn't. <laughs> He's like, I'm this healthy right now, and you're in a hospital. Doesn't this mean I lost the battle but won the war? <laughs> He's trying to sneak out of it. He's like, what the heck? And Ippo wants to laugh. He's like, the real conclusion will be the next time we meet in the ring. We'll postpone the promise until then. Excuse me. Uh, sure, <laughs> like, wait just a second. What happened to kneeling down? <laughs> it was like, now, now. It's like, there's no way he can kneel down in front of the girl he likes. Next time, I'll win by knockout. Definitely. Okay. So we got an update on Itagaki. So that's cool. Again, I apologize for the feedback. I do not know how long it was there because I, I didn't check in a while so i'm uh, i'm not sure I, i'm not sure you know what i mean i'm really not sure how long it was going on but anyways let's continue so we're back with the boat is that no are you okay carrying all those by yourself it was just always overdoing things <laughs> what is this it really <laughs> you know is like, if it looks like things are getting hard here, Manabu-kun will probably insist on leaving the hospital. So I'll need to take his share so that he can rest peacefully. Okay. That's right. We have to work hard. Yep. The, 
the all Japan rookie championship is coming fast. I'm sure he wants to get out and start moving about soon, but right now healing your body takes priority. Manabu kun. Kamagawa Jim's new formula. Okay. We'll learn something new. Okay. 35.8 degrees. Your temps normal. Yay. But that doesn't mean you can start moving around. Until your hand and foot are better rest quiet quietly, okay? That's where the, the um the comma should have been. Anyways, um okay. So wow, it's nice living here like this. There's even a white robed angel. I don't ever want to be discharged. It's like please don't disappoint me. Wait a minute. You know, from the first time I, I saw this, I was like, at first I thought it was Ippo, but it's actually, um, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember his name. Even if it's just a joke, the man who beat me is fawning all over some nurse. That's what I'm, I'm like, why the hell is he? So I'm like, at first, he looks just like Ippo when you zoom out, but it's actually Imai. I'm like, because I was wondering, like, it it looks like Ippo, but it doesn't look like him. But it's actually Imai is here waiting for this dude to be discharged. These guys are so friends. Anyways, it's falling all over some nerves. The All Japan Rookie Kings tournament is right around the corner, you know. And he's like, shut up already. The West Japan fighter is strong. If you lose to him, that'll mean there are two rookies stronger than me. And that would be troublesome. Is that how strong? Watch the video and you'll see for yourself. If there's anything I can do to help, say it. That's why I come here every day. This dude was going there to see him every day, bro. That guy is the truth. It, you guys don't understand. Like a lot of a lot of times, I see stuff like this in um in anime in in mangas you know what i'm saying and you know some people might say you know it's very easy to write it's very easy to write this stuff because um you know what i'm saying it's fiction you know what i'm saying but at the same time this is stuff the, the reason why i love manga and anime so much you don't really get this from regular tv shows a lot you get what i'm saying you don't really see true friendship portrayed in TV a lot. You don't see it portrayed in movies a lot. Sometimes you do. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes you, I'm talking about true, real, true friendship over a, a, a long period of time. Let's, let's take movies out of the picture because movies are kind of limited. You get what I'm saying? They're limited, so they only have a certain amount of time to tell a story, and they have to. Right? But in terms of... TV shows as you know seasons upon seasons where they get to build a character from the ground up and get the the, the audience interesting like they you, you know what I'm saying P when it comes down to TV show shows we're more interested in 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 the backstabbing and all of this other stuff that happens you get what I'm saying but in anime I think the the thing that really grabs people the most is friendship you get what I'm saying and you see that a lot in a lot of mangas and animes that we love it's the the true power of what friendship can do you know what i'm saying and i think that a lot of the the authors you know that write these stories and write these mangas um and animes i think i don't know if they just never had a lot of friends or whatever the situation is but or they're just longing to see a better place in the world where everybody is just you know what I'm saying? They want to see a world of peace, but they know that to get to that peace, we have to go through a period of extremes. You know what I'm saying? Or of war, if you want to call it that. So to get to that place and, you know, these little battles really do bring people closer together, you know, um, in in these animes and, and mangas. So I, I'm definitely for it, man. I love it. It makes me, you know, tear up. Help me to understand. Help me to be a better friend to my friends in real life. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a lot of stuff that I that I do now. A lot of my friends ask me, like, why do you do this stuff? I'm like, like, I do everything out of the kindness of my heart. 
And I tell him, I'm like, when I, like, if my friends ask me for money or something like that, and I can give it to them, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm at a place right now where I can do that. So it's like, when they ask me for money, it's never like, yo, you got this time to pay me back or anything like that. It's always like, yo, you're my friend. I'm helping you out. I do not. Because when you expect people to pay you back and then they can't and then they owe you for years and years, like, I don't want to have to worry about that stuff. So if you're my friend and I'm lending you and, and I'm giving you money, you get what I'm saying? Just know that I'm giving you money. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm giving you money. Take care of whatever you want to take care of, whatever you know what I'm saying? Like, just don't make it a habit because then when it becomes a habit, then, then, you know what I'm saying? I'm still a human being. It can build up resentment towards that person because that person is kind of dependent, dependent on you to take care of them, which you don't want to be taking care of grown people if you're grown. So they understand that. And I don't mince my words when it comes on to stuff like that. I do not. I tell people what's what, and that's it. So True friendship is one of the things that I love about anime. It really teaches me how to be a better friend to people. I don't know what it does for you. Hopefully it does that too. But let's continue here. So let's take a break here. Come back for another part. And we're back again. I apologize for the feedback in the last one. As I said, it must have been there for a good maybe minute or two. I don't know. And it, and it, was, the, and it was the loud one too where you probably was not hearing me properly. So I don't know if you guys want to fast forward through that. I would totally understand. But anyways, um, I can use my right hand. Even if I can't do any road work, I can at least train my neck and stomach muscles. Okay. What are you planning to do? Getting out of here. I just can't seem to stay still. But this isn't for your sake. It's for mine. It's so I can take the all Japan rookie crown. It's like, that's what I wanted to hear. Ah, he's trying to go out. Move aside, Nanako. I'm leaving. <laughs> I will not move. So Nanako wants him to stay. It's like, you need to stop him from doing things like this, Imai-san. If you're not here to keep him from doing something stupid, then why are you here at all? It's like, please stop my brother. <laughs> no, I warned him, but... It's like, let go of me, you bastards. So Imai is trying to put him back in the bed. It's like, don't be so selfish. Now that I think about it, if you get out of here, I won't have an excuse to see Nanako-san anymore. That would be troublesome for me. Oh, so many troubles, you poor thing. <laughs> it's like, let go of me. All Japan is waiting for me. Oh, neat job. It's like, quit struggling. <laughs> so they locking him up in there. Itagaki gun. Didn't I tell you the rest? It's like, <laughs> I got scolded. <laughs> that won't do at all. Please be hospitalized quietly. <laughs> For both our sakes, right? And to think I was impressed with him during the match. But screw that. Ippo-san really is number one. <laughs> She's so in love with Ippo. Ippo do not... Uh, Ippo is not checking for her like that. So it's like, wait, gods, what is Takamura doing? It's like, Gatsuna. What is this new training with guts? Gatsuna. It's like, I wonder what's going on, but with guts, Gatsuna, what enlivening words. It's the Kamigawa Gym's newly adopted war cry. Oh. <laughs> newly adopted, but it's really good. It cheers me up. It cheers me right up. This. This is the magical war cry that revived the dying Itagaki at, at the East Japan Rookie King. Of course, it would cheer you up. Moreover, word on the street is that afterwards he said, I'll go hang in there, Shinoda-san. What a wonderful exchange. <laughs> like making up a pun in the middle of a match, he did well to win against him, I could. It was all fine up to that point. However, in the interval before the vitally important last round, when cheering up the fighter is of utmost importance at that very moment, someone said something guaranteed 
to rip a boxer's spirit out by the roots and destroy him. Words that should never ever be said. They were. What are the words? Why are you leaving me hanging, man? Okay. 626. Forbidden words that should never be said. What were they? <laughs> what is happening right now? He sits down. Is he being dramatic right now? This is to... Nahisu? <laughs> I don't get it. Nahisu is like... He's like, uh, how could you get energized hearing that? He got knocked down right after that, so it actually put him in a big pinch. <laughs> oh, my God. I think it's... I think it's what Yagi said to him, I think. He said Yagi's bad pun. Revisit it all the time. Okay, so it's Yagi. Yeah, I remember somebody said some stupid shit like that. I think it was Yagi that said that because he was supposed to come up with a pun. Uh, it's like, ah, Yagi coming around the corner. is like, ah, the culprit is right here. Run. His stupidity is going to spread to you. <laughs> Everybody, please stop. It's like, what's all this racket? What a bunch of idiots. It's like, coach, it's all their fault. I was trying my best, but they're making fun of me about that time, eh? But but if but it was your fault back then, wasn't it? Eh? <laughs> it's like, please spare me those words next time you are my second. It's no good. Every time he brings out the chair, I remember it. <laughs> it's like, you know. It's true, it was a huge mistake, but this stupidity is unexcusable for people trying to rise up in the world. I'm gonna fix those screwed up attitudes of yours with training from hell. Even me, you get the same too. You'll all yield to Yagi-chan's orders then. Take back your dignity as one of their seniors. Show him what you're made of. <laughs> for 10 minutes straight, you will hit these sandbags. <laughs> what the? Isn't that kind of harsh? <laughs> it's like, I'm not finished. You're going to do three sets. Three sets of 10 minutes hitting the sandbags. It's like, three sets on the <laughs> Three sets on the sandbags. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Now hold on there. That's not how I meant it to come out when I said it. <laughs> like I care. Run away. The stupidity is already spreading around. <laughs> my kid, into my office. Now, coach, the rest of you should be hitting the sandbags already. What the hell? Didn't you say Ippo would get the same? That's favoritism. It's not fair. It's like, quit complaining, <laughs> asshole. Fine, we get it. We get it. Ippo walks into the office. Like, what is it? Hmm. Stay calm and listen up until the very end. Is that could it be? Has it been decided? My match against Miyatakun? The OPBF title match? Is that, didn't I just tell you to stay calm? How could I possibly stay calm when I'm not ready yet? I can't do it as I am. I need to train more. I'm going to hit the sandbags too. I hate to rain on your parade, but... Your next match will be at the Champion Carnival at the beginning of the year. In other words, it's a Japanese title match. Whoa. I'm going to do another title defense? It's like I thought we were going to re relinquish the belt. But I see. So it's another title defense, huh? Please excuse me. <laughs> The Champion Carnival is set on January 25th, two days before Miyata Ichiro's OPPF title match. Okay, so if you don't have a fight before the spring, you'll have gone for half a year without a match. Half a year without a match. Fighting against Miyata Ichiro, the top boxer in the OPBF, with a six-month blank would surely hurt you. It's like, what do you mean? Your schedule has been lined up 
with the OPBF champions. Your dream match is unofficially set for this coming spring. Okay. Nice. So now he knows. Now he knows. So your dream match is officially set for this coming spring. This spring, this time for sure. Okay. Um, uh, aren't you happy about this? I am, but it's just that. But it's just that, hmm, he's had it dangled in front of his face for so long that it, that, he doesn't believe it. Hmm. If it's the truth, then I'd definitely be overjoyed. But how do I say this? I don't have time for this. Guess I'll call off the match then. It's like, please don't do that. I'm begging you. We've matched up the schedules. We've matched up the schedules. The time you'll have to train is practically the same. This will be a match with no handicap. So basically, basically he's saying that you basically be training the same amount of time that he has to train. So, you know what I'm saying? You fight two days before he fights. So basically you're matching the spring, basically have the same amount of time. I get it. Okay. You want this fight? Huh, kid? Well, what the heck was that? It sure sounded like Ippo's voice, but I will fight. Definitely. Thank you very much. It's only tentative at this point. So if either one of you fail in your title defenses, this opportunity will vanish. If you aren't diligent, this joy could be short lived. Yes, sir. He said, like, thank you very much. I'll do my best. Wow. He was really overjoyed, wasn't he? It feels like his scream ruptured an eardrum. <laughs> Miyata-kun is probably very happy about it too. This dream match of theirs is a mutual desire. A faded battle between former gym mates. And it's obvious that they both feel the same heaviness in their hearts. But no one else cares about any of that. Those two are world rank fighters now. Without a doubt, those are the words that will be carved into their poster. A fight for the world stage? A fight for the world stage. Okay, so basically, you know, he can move on after that. You know what I mean? So Ippo is training, of course. Whoa, what's gotten you all worked up? You're in high spirits all of a sudden. Was it something that the coach said? He's like, nah, it's just... I just thought I'd try to go Gatsu de Gatsu, Gatsu da to. I, I am not about to be saying that. That's too much. <laughs> hmm, hell yeah. Guts, yes. With guts. See you guys later. Yeah, later. Looks like he's gonna run all the way home. He was acting kind of weird. Why didn't he tell them? I wonder. It's like, since he got out of the coach's office, he's been in a real fickle mood. It's like, the distance to his sweetheart must have just gotten a whole lot stronger. Takaru, so Takamura, he picked up on it. It's like, the distance to his sweetheart. Huh. Ah, I see that jerk hippo has been using Itagaki's hospitalization as an excuse to go and see Kumichan. That is not what Takamura is talking about. He must have been impatient. Having to come here when things are moving along so well with her. I should get... I should get Tomiko to find out just how far those lovebirds have gone now. They've sure got my heart pumping pounding away i'll sell you the dirt ippo secrets just 100 yen that's cheap we don't want him <laughs> the match against miata couldn't sound pretty concrete this is totally like a dream i wanted to tell everyone the good news but i just couldn't the words couldn't come out he's breathing hard he's running but the coach did say it was just tentative, so I shouldn't get too happy yet. And also, I felt like if I said anything, I'd wake up from this dream. I still haven't even completely convinced myself it's for real. Right now, all I can do is pray. Please, if this is all a dream, 
don't let me wake up. This time, please let us meet in the ring. Looks like Makanochi's fight is just two days before Ichiro Kun's match. It'll be part of the annual champion carnival matches. So he'll be fighting against whoever is ranked first. I know our OP BF title match against him isn't set in stone yet, but the Makarauchi camp has got some guts, don't they? Either way, he shouldn't pose a problem for Ichiro Kun, right? He's like, guts, huh? I'd expect nothing less from him. Like two days before me, so if all goes well, he'll be calmly watching my fight. Then it's all a repeat of last time. It feels like the match is destiny, like it's faded. Like it's fate. However, I can't let this be a complete repeat of the last time. I can't break our promise for a second time. This time, fate will bring us together. We'll meet in the ring this time for sure. Alright. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. All right, 628. 628. All right. Oh, this is a new volume. Okay. New volume started. I really, I like, for, like, somebody had told me that I should do volumes because the volumes, how many chapters is this? One, two, three, four, four. Okay, so it's about 10 chapters. So it's like 10 chapters in in volumes. I didn't know that. So I should do 10 chapters. I mean, I'm doing 10 chapters today. I think I'm going to go to do two more after this. So thank you for taking such good care of me. I miss you, Kumisan. Don't be silly. And don't go working yourself to death now that you're released. Be sure to rest at home. Work hard. I'll come and visit you every day when you are put back in the hospital. Like, I want to see you every day. <laughs> like, let's go, Manabukun. Later, I'm going to go say hi to the guys at the gym. I'll take him. I'll take Nanako-san home. It's too dangerous for later to walk home. <laughs> like, let, let him do it. You two make a good couple. He's like, because he's like, I thought you weren't supposed to talk to me. Wasn't that what happened once my brother beats you? Huh? He's like, aren't you a little hard on him? He's like, nope. My eyes have been opened. Manabu was strong, especially the tenacity that he showed. He proved that he had become a true pro. I'll put my victory over Mana Makanouchi Kun. Makanauchi Ippo on hold. First, I need to focus on the obstacle closest to me. Itagaki Manabu, I won't lose next time. Men really hate to admit that they have lost. <laughs> if you have something to lose, why wouldn't you try to keep it? Hmm, victory or defeat. Maybe I'm just no good at this. Oni-chan said he has another match coming up. Boxers never seem to have any time to relax. You can drive it pretty well, senpai. I've got a driver's license, yeah. I couldn't say it in front of Kumisan, but I really can't afford to rest at a time like this. The All Japan the All Japan Championship is coming up. I need to get the feelings back soon. I'd like to start training again today. Is that you you say something? Absolutely nothing. Don't let me distract you. Ah, Ippo's driving it. He's taking his sweet time. There's a traffic jam. He's, like, He's probably just not used to it yet. Let's go say hi. So Ippo got his license. That's fun. <laughs> Anyways, good work. You can stop it here. Ah, fool. Bruh, did he end up inside the gym with the... What? Okay. Ah, so he just 
<laughs> he, he, why is Aoki on the front of the... What is happening here? What the hell were you thinking? My heart nearly stopped. That's my line, you freaking idiot. You should have seen this happening. You're an idiot. That's why you get punched so much. And you're a champion. You should be more careful. You don't want to get in the gossip columns. You were just lucky you hit Aoki. What? Like I don't matter? <laughs> I hope never go through that again. It feels like it's been forever. Itagaki Manabu reporting back in. I'm sorry if I've worried you. Uh, ooh, so you were released. You're looking good. I know it's sudden, but can I take a look at the videos? Videos? I have videos of the West Japan representative. I've wanted to see them for the entire hospital stay. And why don't you, and why do you want to watch them? Why? Are you kidding me? So I can study them, obviously. Come watch them with me, Shinoda-san. You can give me your opinion. That there's no need. He hasn't been told yet? What? What do you mean? What? What's the secret? I haven't been told. What? Senpai, Itagaki, we've decided that you will resign from the All Japan. What? Why? Is it because of the injuries? It's got to be because of the injuries. Because it's, it's got to be because of the injuries. So, baton pass. Okay. What did you just say? You won't fight in the All Japan Rookie Kings. It'll be too dangerous. It's like, you have to be kidding me. But why? Because of my injuries? I can't accept this. When Senpai took part in the All Japan Rookie Kings, he had a fractured bone in his hand. It'll just use an I'll just use an anesthetic like he did back then. He said, like, calm down now. Your left hand and at least tendon, your depth perception and speed are your lifeline. Both are gone. So what can you rely on now? I sort of had a feeling that this would, that things might turn out this way, but I'll need to apologize to Kiyosuke too. I planned on giving it all there for his sake. It's kind of it's kind of sad though because I was thinking the same thing in the back of my head that he's probably not going to be able to compete right off the bat because because of those injuries because his fighting style depends a lot on his his speed and you 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 your Achilles tendon you you gotta let that heal up because if you're not going to do surgery on it and that's and you tore that. You have to wait until that he heals up, and that's if it does. You get what I'm saying? Um, because the Achilles tendon is a really like it's just a bad muscle to tear, man. Let's just leave it at that. Um, I can't bring myself to face him now, though. I got to meet Hoshi Senshu right after the East Japan Rookie King finals. Hoshi, the West Japan Rookie King, yep. So he came to the to the re. He came to recon at the tournament. What kind of guy is he? He looked like he had a pretty tough frame, a boxer who relies on his power. He had an intense ear about him, so his skills are probably high. He's like, God damn it, I really wanted to fight him. You can still fight him, but we've already backed out of the tourney. I didn't mean right away, but after you've healed up. He challenged me to a fight. But it came with a condition. He challenged you, senpai. Bastard has no shame. So what was his condition of his? When I beat down Itagaki Manabu, you'll accept my challenge. What the hell's with that smug attitude? There's no way that I'll back out now. I've made up my mind. I'd fight him right now if I could. Can't even put weight on his foot. Calm down for now. That overconfident jerk has no right to be given out such conditions. Please tell me you'll just ignore him. Ignore him. It'll be fine. I'm not going to be fighting with him any time soon. The promise was that he had to beat you first. Seeing your match with Imai Kun helped me to confirm something. Confirm? 
the Jap the Japanese champion belt is to me something really heavy that means a lot to me senpai you really are best in Japan please give me your hand bat and pass it's all yours now even after I move on no matter where it goes no matter who holds it I'm sure I'd worry about it and before I moved on I just needed to be sure so he's remembering when the bat basically the baton was passed on to him you know this is um Date right this is Date um, passing it on to him and before I moved on, I just needed to be sure. Give me your hand. My hand? Like this. Manabukun. And he's like, yes. It's the baton pass. Nice. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and he did that with Manabu. So he's passing it on to him. It's like, it's your turn now, bro. Don't disappoint. It's your turn now. It's your turn now. What's his record? 22 wins, 10 losses, 1. 22 wins, 10. Um, is this Ippo's record? I'm not sure. It's the Baton Pass. Okay. 22 wins, 10 loss, 1 draw. Okay. I don't think that's Ippo's record. That's not Ippo's record. Ippo has only lost once. Um, okay, so Senpai. I'll give it my all and I'll keep on going. I'll keep on going and going until I can bring your belt back to the gym. I promise. That's it. Go and give it your all. And I'll also work harder than I ever have before. Let's both do our best. I almost forgot he's driving us home in that hunk of junk. <laughs> okay, so Senpai is going to relinquish the belt, but is he going for the OPPF title or the world title? At any rate, Makanauchi Ippo has finally graduated from Japan. This blows. Itagaki can't make it to the All-Japan Finals due to all his injuries. It was going to be the final highlight of this year too. Fans are already saying... They won't be attending, and we've lost all interest as well. Damn, if this year is going to be ending on a bad note, then we'll have to depend on the next year's big news then. When you say next year, do you mean Takamura? Takamura is Japan's ace. He's going to be fine no matter what. On the other hand, the Champion Carnival will start at the beginning of next year, and we'll need to pay extra attention to a group graduating from the country. A group? More than one person then? He's had two of them, the featherweight Makanauchi Ippo and the junior lightweight Mashiba Ryo. Both are having trouble finding suitable competition in Japan and will no doubt relinquish their belts if they win their next fights. If those two move on to the next level, then the world of boxing will be lit on fire and our magazine will be sure to sell out on the stands. It's all up to you, Makanauchi-sama, Mashiba-sama. But it's on the condition that they win their upcoming fights. Will Mashaba has yet to find himself an opponent? The guy ranked first ended up chickening out. Well, then I guess that means Makanauchi is going to be up first. His opponent recently made his way back to being ranked first. Take Kichi from Fukuoka down in Kyushu. His record consists of 33 fights. With 22 wins, 10 losses, 1 draw, and 15 KOs. 33 fights. Quite the veteran. Can the dog-eared veteran stop the young bucking chap? That spin should spark up some interest in his match. My money is on Makanochi for the win. The only question is which round he's going to put him down. That's what we want to see, and that's what will sell. That's what'll, what'll sell those tickets. He has 22 wins, 10 losses, and 1 draw. Anyone looking at these numbers would say that this would be a very easy victory for Ippo. However, among those 10 losses, none of them were by way of knockout. 
Why the long face? <laughs> Nothing. With his experience, I wonder if he's not just any ordinary challenger. This veteran. You hear the latest rumors about the champ that he intends to relinquish the belt after his very next bout. But even though he's planning on moving to a higher stage, he's going out his way to fight the champion carnival. If he'd gone up, you could have easily gotten the belt in a title match with you, the top ranker against the second seed. He's trying to say there's no more competition for him in Japan. It's an insult. Well, we won't let him get away with this, right? Take. No, I think that is a good thing to seek higher competition. Young people should do that kind of stuff. Okay, and so this guy is playing it safe, I guess. It's like, what do you say? Don't you want to win this? Of course I want to win it. Until the day of the match, I'll feel the tension from that drive in every inch of my body and soul. Makanouchi is unlike anybody you faced before. We'll need to work on a new strategy for the fight. It's like strategy. Hmm. Dad, dinner's ready. I'll go and get changed then. Hi, the boo. You've got to tell him too. Tell your dad to win the belt. Like, no way. That's pushing it. I watch his video every night and Makanauchi is strong. We're going to go to Tokyo together and dad promised he'd take me to Disneyland. <laughs> He's like, he said that. And this guy is not even like, <laughs> he's like, hi, Dibu. I'm all ready to go now. I'm going to starve to death if we don't get home soon. Are you watching videos of Makanouchi every night? I'm 31 already. I don't know how many more times I'll be able to get in the ring. But before I hang up my gloves, I'm determined to give something special to Haidabu. Before I, uh, I want to say it's Hidebu, uh, not Haidebu, because I keep saying Haidebu, you know, because Hide. But I'm going to say Hidebu. I think it's Hidebu. <laughs> Before I retire, I'm going to show him how a man from Kyushu should live his life. Like that take. As a veteran, I'm well aware of the risk I take every time that I step inside the ring. The risk? Makanouchi is a truly amazing champ. I've seen enough of his matches to know that. But he only ever looks upward. And who knows what can happen to folks who don't mind where they're walking. Try not to overdo it, Dad. If you get hurt, we won't be able to go to Disneyland at all. Not get hurt by Makanouchi, easy for you to say, but if you get hurt, then there's no point in us going to Tokyo. It's like, we've got our shot. Are you ready for us, Makanouchi? Po? You'll be fighting, the, fighting a seasoned veteran. You'd best take that into consideration. Take Kiichi from the Samiichi Gym in Fukuoka, Kyushu. 33 by 22 wins, 10 losses, 1 draw. Of his 22 wins, 15 of them are by knockouts. I've never seen him in action before, but according to his file, he's never lost by a KO before, not once. So he's got to be as tough as they come. He looks like he can take a lot. Yeah, sure does. From Kiyoshu, take Kiyoshi. My next opponent is also going to be the last opponent that I'll defend the Japanese title against. All right. Great ending for this 630. So we got 621 to 630. It's about 10 chapters, I think. Um, yeah, so that's it for me today. Great times, good times. One hour of reading. Um, one hour of reading, not bad at all. Um, it's great to see this. It's great to see this. So thank you guys for tuning in as always. So stand by for the review. If you're watching this on YouTube, stand by for the review. Of course, people who are watching from, um, if you are watching on, from Patreon, make sure you go back and check out the review. Once the video comes out for YouTube, um, it's only a day wait. So you guys get it early and then it comes out tomorrow. Berserk will also be out tomorrow for Patreon, so look out for that. Um, so thank you guys so much for tuning in from Patreon. But make sure you check out the review when the video drops tomorrow of 
course um so stand by for the review i'm about to go do that so don't click off if you're watching it on youtube don't click don't you dare click off if you're listening to this podcast style on youtube okay so i'll see you guys for the review all right so here we go ipple manga Ooh, these chapters um i have a lot to say well not really a lot a lot but some some stuff <laughs> anyway so that was pretty cool again let me apologize for i don't know how long that um feedback was going for during my reading um but it did come up hopefully it wasn't for too long um because i was so into what i was reading because i usually check to see if i'm getting feedback um so it just kind of slipped my mind because i was really getting into what i was reading so i know and it's a loud one that came up too and it was there for a while you saw my face when i recognized that it was there it's not pretty i am in the process of fix of fixing this going forward so just wait i'm trying to figure out a way where i don't have to plug my mic directly because that's what's causing the feedback i have to be plugging my mic directly into the computer and because of the usb i don't know there's something happening with the connection that's causing the feedback every now and then it'll go, it'll go away like i you know what i'm saying but then it'll just come back and i don't know what's causing it initially so i've just decided to get an outer amp to kind of bypass that so that will be here um very soon for me to do that because i've done some extensive research on this and i will be fixing that very soon but to the meat of the matter ippo is going to fight his last fight before depend the japanese title as his last fight before he relinquishes the belt and to be able to fight miata in the spring now miata has a fight coming up and we know what happened the last time he was supposed to meet ippo he lost that fight never got a chance to fight ippo i'm hoping that this time he destroys his opponent um that needs to happen but i'm also wondering if it's going to be flipped this time around i'm a little worried that it might be flipped this time around. not that i don't have ho hope for ippo you get what i'm saying it's not like i don't have hope for him but i don't know how the story is going to play out i don't know how this art how this dude is going to write this because he might do it as a flip to to make to kind of bring ippo back down to earth let him lose this or 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 a draw you know so that to kind of show him that he's probably not ready for the world stage even though i believe he's ready for the world stage you know as a audience member as a member who's enjoying this story you know so i'm wondering if he, if if he's gonna make miata wins and wait and is you know waiting on ippo but he's but he's gonna already know he's gonna already know though because the fight is two days before his fight so if ippo loses or draws miata is gonna already miata is gonna know so he's he's gonna be like god damn it this guy you know now it's kind of it would be in reverse i'm hoping that we finally get to see this fight it's one of those fights that you're you were hoping for this has been a long time coming we're talking about like early i think it was like season one right i think it was like season one where this was happening this was a long time ago i can imagine this was like probably like early maybe in the early 100s of the of the manga that that um uh, me had a lost in the in in, in the um the rookie king tournament so i don't know i don't know man i'm hoping that it's not a reverse thing and we finally get this fight but at the same time i'm still interested in these two fights to see them and for them to go well manabu kun won his fight it's kind of cool to see him and Imai having such a good relationship even though they don't want to admit that they have a good relationship him showing up him bringing the tapes that's cool man Imai is a cool dude good to include him in this and we got um sendo showed up with this new dude that was supposed to fight Itaga itagaki in the all japan rookie tournament that can't happen because itagaki is injured he's um 
basically tore his Achilles tendon, which is a very, it's a bad injury. Like it takes a long time to heal on its own. A lot of NBA players that have had this injury and they have to do surgery if they want to come back, you know, at a reasonable time. I mean, this is an injury even after surgery, you still can't come back, you know what I'm saying, a, a year. You have to sit out a whole season of the NBA, you know what I'm saying, a whole year, sometimes more than a year, you know what I'm saying, Eight, you know what I'm saying, so it, it it's a terrible injury. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Kobe. It was one of the, um, one of the things that happened to Kobe when he was playing ball. He tore his he tore his Achilles, um, and he was never the same after that. He was some semblance of himself. I mean, he was still Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, if as heartbreaking as it is, man, I mean, I wasn't a diehard Kobe fan. Yeah, I wasn't, but. At the same time, you know what I'm saying, his impact on the game of basketball is, and even after basketball, was something to be marveled at. You know what I'm saying? Um, you may not be a fan of this guy, but you are able to respect what he did when he was playing. You know what I'm saying? You got to respect him. I mean, five championships, you know what I mean? Five championships is nothing to snark at. You know what I'm saying? So, and he, he did it with people without people you know what i'm saying so i definitely um shout out to kobe man r.i.p to him and hopefully he's in a better place right now but when it comes on to itagaki i know this is going to be very challenging for him very challenging for him to come back from an injury from like this it's gonna take some time it's gonna take some time to heal up and we know this okay so Definitely, definitely looking forward to more from Itagaki. Of course, we got Ippo preparing. So I'm looking forward to those fights also. Um, Itagaki also injured his hand also. So there's a lot of stuff he's got to come back from and he's got to take it easy. I'm glad to see that him and my are friends. Um, so that's good. That's good. You know, so I'm looking forward to 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 Ippo and Miata's fight. I don't know how that's going to turn out. You get what I'm saying? I don't know how that's going to turn out because um as I said, I'm worried if there's going to be a switch. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm worried if there's going to be a switch um in in how they do things this time this time around to to maybe not let them meet, but I'm hoping that they do. So um so we'll see. We'll see. I'm looking forward to these two fights. I think they're gonna be deep. they're gonna be hyped up. <laughs> I think they're gonna be hyped up. The the news they don't got back, nothing to do back, back, back. because Itagaki can't fight the rest of the year. So they, you know, the hype is dumbed down because everybody wanted to see East versus West um, for the for the end of the, the the year to see who would rank ten and go challenge Ippo, but we're not gonna get that. So cool cool beans we're, we're gonna keep it going and you know see you guys for the next one make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe if you're new leave a comment in the comment section hopefully you guys if you came back to watch this you know after you watched it on patreon let me know in the comment section i know it's not a lot of y'all but let me know if you came back and watched the review man i really appreciate it of course let me know in the comment section and of course, man, remember, we do the best we do over here. Let the world know that, okay? We out here doing big things, okay? All right. See you guys later, man. Peace.